President Trump today touted the success of the U.S. economy. In a closely watched speech at the Economic Club of New York, the president discussed domestic growth as well as the Fed and the trade war with China. Here's Eamon Javers. President Trump keeping the details close to the vest here in New York today at a speech at the New York Economic Club that was widely watched in the financial universe for any indication of what the president might say about China trade. Would he announce a date? Would he announce a location for a trade deal? The answer to both of those questions was no. The president offering no new specifics here, but he did indicate that a trade deal might be in the offing. Here's what he said. We're the ones that are deciding whether or not we want to make a deal. We're close. A significant phase one trade deal with China could happen. Could happen soon. But we will only accept a deal if it's good for the United States and our workers and our great companies. The president reserving his harshest criticism here, not for the Chinese government in Beijing, but for the Federal Reserve in Washington, which he says better get moving on negative interest rates. We are actively competing with nations who openly cut interest rates so that now many are actually getting paid when they pay off their loan, known as negative interest. Who ever heard of such a thing? Give me some of that. <laughs> Give me some of that money. I want some of that money. Our Federal Reserve doesn't let us do it. Largely today, the president using this formal setting for an economic speech to take a victory lap of sorts about the success of the economy during the course of his presidency, not laying out a lot of specifics, though, about where things are going for the remainder of his term in office. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in New York.